Hey everyone, it's me, the Majestic Sausage! And uh, today we're playing something different for a change, yay! And in case you can't guess by the fact that it's written there, in literally glowing writing we're playing XCOM Enemy Unknown. <laughs> Look! That's so cute! I want one. Um, we're going to be playing through the uh, the single player campaign, of course. I'm going to keep it on normal. Like I said on the other videos, I would play hard, but this isn't about showing how good I am at games. I'm mostly in this for the just general daft banter and chatting and things, so, you know, meet him ensures that there's not too much frustration. Ooh. And all the aliens got out and hugged everyone and everyone was happy the end. Great game guys, bye bye. I've got to say, I don't know about you, but I would go in completely the opposite direction to that thing. I would not gather around. <laughs> I've seen a lot of games. I've watched a lot of movies. I don't know what's gonna happen. Hate to say I told you so. All right. Gotta say though, I do really like this intro. It's pretty cool. It's just like one of my Japanese animes. I'd just like to say this is what my house looked like at university the morning after a party. Pretty accurate, actually. Hell, the scary gas abducting people is pretty accurate to what the parties were like. In light of the recent extraterrestrial no, don't ask. This council of nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. To oversee our first last line of defense. We thought about having more lines, but decided against it for budgetary concerns. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. I didn't hear what you said because I was talking over it, so... <laughs> never mind. I don't keep anything in mind. I'm just going to shoot aliens. Make money. Good luck, Commander. Thank you, creepy faceless man. I'm gonna say, I don't even know what XCOM stands for. Maybe they just chose it because it's a cool sounding name. Yay. Alright guys, so uh... Yeah, sadly we can't have the Arctic. Or the Antarctic. Where should we set our base? I mean... I am English, so maybe we could do Europe? We get laboratories and workshops, 50% less to build and maintain, that's pretty cool. America can shoot better. Oh. <laughs> I've got to say. It's actually something slightly racist about all of these perks. Like, America's the most militaristic, so you can buy weapons better. Europe's got Germany, so, you know, engineering and things. That's great. Asia's filled with Neo Tokyos. <laughs> China's stealing everyone's technology, so yeah, great, that's good. Um, South America, there's no laws down there, so interrogation is complete instantly. And uh, Africa's always getting aid, so they have more money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just, I don't know. Let's go with this. We can we can be nasty people, and we can complete our interrogations instantly. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Alright, kill everyone, got you. So I think I've skipped past the tutorial mission, so um... <laughs> just, I have played this game before, but that was on Xbox, so I might be uh... This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Oops. Don't take any chances. Well, we're off to a great start already. Alright, Hansen. Mmm, Bob. 
<laughs> uh, you'd think I'd be sorry, but I'm really not. So I always like this. You kind of have these. Uh, I think I think Hansen's gonna hang back. I'm gonna leave him on Overwatch, just because we screwed up that first move. Mabuza. I like that name. <laughs> so here's the plan. We're gonna try and keep Mabuza alive because he's got the best name. And apparently being called Petite's just asking for trouble. So you know, here we go. We'll move up, ready to breach. Hmm. Scary. I think we're definitely going to take this central area, because um, my time at combat school has ever told me anything. There you go. They're so cute! I mean, what exactly is the danger of this alien invasion? Are they going to snuggle us to death? Fear me, puny earthlings, for I am Overlord Cuddleflump! Right, great. Hansen, if, if you can just, uh... <laughs> he is quite dashing. If you can just make your way over there. Mmm, bop. Right, I think you're gonna... You're gonna back up, Hansen. Mabuza! And I think Little Miss Petite here... Can get a shot off. Oh, no, they're not in range. Alright, Overwatch. Goody gum drops. I need to turn those tooltips off, I think. We came to your planet to be adorable. <laughs> Fucking hates railings. We're going to lay our eggs in your brain and you'll like it. Oh, I feel really awful about this. They even scamper around like puppies. How could anything this gorgeous be this evil? All right. <laughs> Do a flip. <laughs> Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. <laughs> so, I just like the uh, the sort of <laughs> delayed reaction of getting killed. <laughs> oh no! I want you to shoot. Can we not? Okay. <laughs> Apparently getting shot in the face is just a, a mild bit of concern for an alien. That's not my face, ignorant earthling. That's my anus. And, uh, Petite, can you actually get shot off there? She's got a pretty good, uh... Oh. She's French, and she talks like this. No way! Yeah, right, cool. So this is an alternate future where America just finally decides to invade everywhere and take over. Come on, guys, didn't I tell one of you to overwatch? <gasps> Hendrix, no! All right, what have we got? <laughs> Big glowy spot on his head. Please shoot me here. Hendrix, his head is literally lit up for you to shoot. How did you miss? I am disappointed. <laughs> so if only you were more like Hanson. Greatest musical act of the 20th century and fantastic soldiers. Mmm, bop. That's never gonna get old. Oh man, sweet backflip, bro. Prime directive for the aliens. If any of you should be killed by the human thief, filth, perform a sweet flip. We must let them know how awesome we are. Even in death, the snuggle butts are alpha as fuck. Um, let's get, let's get dashing. Yep, do it up. 
If I was the alien at this point, I'd just drop my weapon and accept my new fate as a pet. Okay, we'll go down here. Cut off his escape. Mabuza! In case you didn't know, that, that is actually how you have to pronounce his name. Mabuza! Alright, T. See if you can make up for your shocking misses, you. Oh! Damn it. Lady, come on! You're killing me here! Ooh! Hanson, no! Alright. Good man, Hendrix. Hanson, I think it's time we got our own back. Oops. Mbop, motherfucker! Oh my days. Hanson, you deserve to get killed for that, mate. Mabuza! Good man. Good work out there, <laughs> if I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Jolly good. Well, we're going to make our way back to the XCOM home base. Um, <laughs> in the middle of the Amazon jungle, apparently. In case you didn't get it, we don't like aliens. Uh, all right. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold: providing tactical support for our. In the future, officers. everyone's American. Briefed on the current situation, my efforts should allow you. You to did it, you maniacs! Issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. So this soldier, he's waiting for it. Did someone tell him he's going to get promoted? Or did he just walk to the barracks and said, God, I'm awesome. I deserve a promotion. I'll just wait here till someone brings it to me. Alright. Well, Mabuza just definitely like gets promoted. Said, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. Nice. They make everyone around them better. <laughs> if I ever needed support, I'd want it to come from Mabuza. I have to say. The assault class serves as our front line. The first ones that mustard. Ah, the, oh, the only thing that Harold Hansen's gonna be assaulting is my heart. Oh. <laughs> this is. Look at that mustache. This is a sexy, sexy man. Specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Heavy weapons is just a politically correct way of calling someone a fat bastard. I think. And, uh, sorry, Colette Petite, but you just weren't particularly useful last round. Are being unloaded, so you get nothing. Your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Cool. Sounds good, Chief. Um. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. I am the this only non-American person left in the world. Takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered Plot from twist, she's actually from Minnesota. She just puts Best on this accent to make everyone findings. think she's special. We believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. I disapprove. <laughs> All right. Hmm. This weapon fabric. Cool. I think. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. But just hang on a second, okay? Gosh, I think we're gonna go for uh, xenobiology because you know we want to know <laughs> what makes these cute little buggers tick. So maybe we can eventually grow our own and have them as pets. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Marvelous. Just don't get suckered in, because some people will try and tell you that there is such a thing as a teacup alien. There isn't. It's all a scam. Mission control apparently is good. 
Oh no, engineering. Where's engineering? Uh, Hacha? Hacha? Um, lots of big holes. That's got to be engineering. Looks. Commander to engineering. Oh, Command God damn it! Where is it? Okay, ah, fine. Commander, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it. I have here. no idea where this guy's accent's from. Speaking of which, Doctor Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Commander to engineering. There we go. All right, we'll build some items. Cool. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. Oh. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. We'll build a... Well, let's build a few of these. We'll spend all our money on medkits. <laughs> we'll literally spend all my money on medkits. Amazing. Right. Great. Um... I think I'm going to leave that one there. We'll probably do this on uh, on an episode-by-episode episode basis, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to play around with doing a few different games and see which ones strike the right balance. We've been fun to watch and fun for me to comment over. This one, I'm not too sure yet, but we'll see how it goes. I do love this game. It's pretty damn fun. And plus, we've got the sequel coming up soon. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, why not hit the like button, leave a comment, come and subscribe to the channel for more, or otherwise just do something nice. I have been the Majestic Sausage, and you've all been lovely. Bye-bye.